Hello everyone, Cove Harmony's Dragons. Here's uh, preparing for Hurricane, uh, what is it, Ian? So I've got multiple branches tied together. That way they don't fall off or it's got more resistance to it. And then I've got them tied onto other ones too to keep them blowing so hard and falling over. I use some Velcro as well. So this side's in between the house and most likely the wind's going to come from that direction, that direction, so this side over here is not too worried about. Got this fruit that's going to be ready in a few days. Some more clumps together. Inside here, I just kind of added some more supports to keep them still from being blown over, especially in the smaller pots. This is my Hannah. It's very flimsy, so as you can see, it's very tied down. Uh, Avon Park, pretty sturdy, but I had to use that to support the uh, Asunta 3. This is Avon Park. Nice and beautiful. Not too worry about the inside here. Some more supports on these to hold them up. Another fruit that's almost ready. This is a Vinmi's white, white flush. Bricks at 19. That was mixed pollen last time. This is a Haley's Comet, so we'll see if it still holds its sweetness. Some more tie downs. These are all inside. Vietnam Jaina. This one's called Carol Flower, but it looks very similar to this one here, which might be a Thompson. Might be a white variety. Our uh, unknown Israelis got some buds still. So we got one, two, three, and four. We got five here. This one's uh, Pollinate of American Beauties. And then we got another one back there. That's six. Let's see if we can see it. Yep, there you go. We got six. We got those tied together for support. On the back side here, we have one of my... Uh, this one is my hybrid. It's a uh, Ecuador and a red fruit hybrid. So we'll see what that comes out to be. I don't know what the red fruit was. Uh, Natural Mystics are starting to turn colors. And we've got another row. So there's like, uh, I think they're on the ninth wave of fruit this summer. So very prolific. These I just pollinated yesterday. And Cosmic Charlie, these, I don't remember what I uh, pollinated with. It says Natural Mystic, but I was just guessing. But I think I pollinated with something that was pretty closely related. So they're all tiny. So if you pollinate with something bigger or something different, maybe a white flush, like we did last time on this one, it was a pound and a half size fruit for Cosmic Charlie but we got more buds on the other side for Cosmic Charlie we got about a dozen and that's on its eighth wave of fruit uh, yellow tie right here it tends to rot a lot so that's yellow tie we've got purple haze right here we got a flower that we pollinated a couple nights ago still got the bag on it to cover it but it's looking really loose because it rained and I don't think it's going to make it, but we'll leave it for now. Yeah. And then uh, Hawaiian pink right here. It tends to rot a lot too, but it's doing okay. Very, very slow grower. Gargantuan has rot issues as well. The newer part looks good because it's higher up. So I might cut that off there and restart it. And the bottom half looks good. It's just these three branches here that uh, tend to have more rot on. So eventually I might cut those off. Um, golden yellow, I mean Aussie gold, uh, golden yellow, and Isis. They're all doing really good. I've got them all tied down. We got Godzilla over here tied down. Right next to Axe. Axe is all tied down as well. 
And then this Godzilla, I got a branch here, starting right there where that node is. Going all the way up, and this time I gave it support, so it's not going to fall over. It's uh, going up to 5 feet now. So I think once it reaches 6 to the top of that pole, I'll cut it off and uh, propagate it, root it out, and sell it. Whoever is interested, let me know. That's uh, going to be like a 6 foot Godzilla. And then our delight is right here. Our uh, Laverne Red right here. We've got it nice and bundled up. And then, I'm going to head down to this way. So these are our Israeli Noid. we got one here. And our Condor, we got that nice and tidy. Our Black Africanus. We had some uh, fungus issues on the end, so we cut them off to prevent it from spreading. And then, these here, this is a white crystal. It's looking really good. And Vietnam Jaina, but I don't think it's Vietnam Jaina because the flowers are really um, weird looking. They're skinny and ugly. And the first one rotted. This is our yellow Columbiana. Got about 30 buds on there, minus the three that I took off today. So maybe about 25. So lots and lots of buds for yellow Columbiana. Just when I said, I'm going to tear you down. They're like, nope, we're going to give you some buds. This is our Vietnam white. This side's from Hoi. And then I've got so some of the long branches from the other one over here. And that gives really good fruit. We just ate the one from Hoi a couple nights ago this one right here and it was really good and then our Maria Rosa and white sapphire in the back here so we got those kind of tied up with two and then back to the main support these two just so that doesn't get too windy and just on one down the hill we got it all set up as well this is our Vietnam white and natural mystic natural mystic we got that one coming in. And then we got Sugar Dragon right there, the big long one, and that pile there. We have here Physical Graffiti. No more fruits on here, but we got new branches coming in, so I'm going to let those grow in as they're secondary. Haley's Comet, looking good on these fruits. Still wait on them to ripen up. More Haley's Comet bundled together, and American Beauty got infected, so I got I cut them all off. I even took all the flesh off of this one. Fruit's still there. That's the American Beauty Delight. I tie that onto my Sugar Dragon. It's another American Beauty and Israeli Noid pollen. That's gonna be a really cool one. And the two branches I cut off are down here. So maybe they'll root. Who knows? And this big long one that I grew from the bottom. So that's from the actual bottom node. And that's uh, all the way up here, about eight feet tall. And we got a new piece right there. Back this way, we got Maria Rosa tied down. Actually, that's not Maria Rosa. We found out that's Maria Fusia. It's got a really, really pink pretty pink color and tasted really good uh, delight we got two fruits on here we got fiscal graffiti here from Jose Yanez over this way we got Bruni this one's kind of small and tiny this one's small but it's almost ripe um, I think this coming weekend will be time to pick 50 days got purple haze right here we already picked the fruit and ate it it was really good so that's all tied down. We got Bloody Mary here. These don't look like they're going to get any bigger. So that little tiny one's already turning. So this plant here is going to definitely come out. Because it's, to me it's not worth growing. So it might not even be Bloody Mary. It might be a Noid. Because the uh, last time I saw Bloody Mary was a lot bigger than that. But who knows. So that one might come out. This one hasn't done anything yet. It's a pink self-fertile Noid. And thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Cove Homies Dragon, and stay safe.